Interesting. We're joined now by TV presenter and Keep Britain Tidy Ambassador Kirsty Also, It's the only job you've ever applied for, isn't it? It is the only job I've ever applied you for. You are very, very passionate about this, Kirsty. We have talked about it a number of times over the years. Yeah. We still can't seem to get hold of it, though. The thing is, Ben, that we lead far more transitory lives. We have many more places where we eat food to take away than we ever did before, and there are more of us. So that's why the problem is getting worse in that sense. But today, for the great British clean-up, we, we, uh, British, sorry, spring the clean. spring clean, um, we've got a thousand schools, a thousand schools. Now think about that. Mm. That is where we have to target the information and, and uh, that's where we're going to get really good. Because Embed that idea that yeah. litter has to be put in a yeah. bin. because Kate, your kids, they'd pick up litter. They do. They, they, well, they don't drop litter. <laughs> <laughs> they don't drop litter. They don't drop litter. I'm yeah. not sure they go around picking up other people's litter in the way I do. I think I embarrass them dreadfully mm. when I do that. But yeah, they don't drop litter. They just think it's awful, and they would never do that. You're right. That's that's a good point. But it's funny. We were having a debate yesterday about whether "Keep Britain Tidy," that slogan that's so identified, yeah. that's been around for decades, whether it's still relevant when you look at some of the offences of littering you see now, the huge fly tipping. The is is that less about tidy and also almost more about vandalism but actually I think it is because if we were all take that personal responsibility it, it is, to yeah. tidy up after ourselves then we're there aren't That's we? What I realise you're looking at me as if so I could start that. There's but... a certain irony but I know that, that your your argument with Kate and, and the sort of the, the mess around in the studio is that this is her home this is where she lives yeah. so it's up to her. She would never never drop something On in the, the street. street. No. And, and that's the thing lots of people are untidy. My sister is incredibly untidy. She would no more drop litter than fly to the moon. But is there a psychological link between thinking it's OK to, for me to throw my chocolate wrapper towards the bin, miss and think, no, oh, no, not quite make it? Is there a link between that mentality and what people do when they're out about and they think, oh, I tried and move on? No, I don't think there is. I, th Thank I you, think Kirsty. I don't think. And I think my case I, there, is are th <laughs> there, are, there are three things that I worry about. Firstly, I think there's a lot of guilty litter. Right. People who don't want their partners to know what they're eating on the way home. Ah. There's someone in our village who I know has a Big Mac on the way back from work and doesn't want anyone to know about it. Because there's constantly wrappers on the road. There's, there's wrappers on the road and you, you see people chucking sweet wrappers out their car and sticky drink bottles and I think, you know, that's people on their way home just thinking... Can't they just put it in a bag and exactly. stick it in a bin? So, yeah. it, so that chucking out of cars, that is a real problem and I think if mm. anybody sees that, you take a photograph of the van or the car and you send it to the Twitter account of the company. And, you, and companies need to make it very clear to their employees that that's unacceptable and isn't in line with company policy. Mm. Uh, Michael says the biggest issue in our area is over full bins. Mm. They've got seagulls where they are. They come and empty, empty them all over the place. And I know it's an issue where you mm. are. The reduction in rubbish collection, collection is causing problems ben, for people. If you had to choose between a mental health worker, an elderly care worker, or someone who was sorting out the bins. As a council, what would you choose? Mm. And that's the thing. We have to take responsibility. We know there are financial problems within local authorities and we have... So you don't to... see that as an excuse? I don't see it as an excuse. Okay. If I see an overflowing bin, I don't put anything in it. I'm not going to add to the problem. I'm just going to take it home. OK, what about something that Charlotte's experienced, which is, OK, we don't get the same sort of array of collection that we used to anymore. You have to take things to the bin uh, to, to dump, don't you? But you're then getting charged for leaving it there, Charlotte. You went through this, didn't you? Yeah, so local councils are now charging for things like bags of rubbish. They charge for plasterboard, a bags of rubble and plasterboard so for some people they'll think well I'm not going to pay the charge I'm just going to leave it somewhere instead they could end up with a thousand pound fine right do you think we're not seeing enough of that as well in terms I of think, understanding I mean personally I think the fines I remember going to LA about five years ago they have thousand dollar fines and the police take it very very seriously and if you chuck something out of your car and the police are behind you they'll stop you and they'll fine you now obviously the vast majority of people couldn't pay those fines mm. but they could perhaps spend their day off picking up litter and then maybe mm. did, never do and, it again yeah and and that's the thing that's why education is so important. That's why it's so exciting that we've got all these schools. Yeah, it's brilliant. But 70 cleanups happening today in Manchester. Brilliant. 140 in Wiltshire, 1,000 schools involved. Next year, we need all the schools involved. Yeah. It needs to be yeah. like World Book Day. Yeah. It needs to be that every day, everybody gets out and does a bit of a spring clean for Keep Britain. A lot, of people a, talking about, a lot of people talk about taking pride in where you live and then, yeah. then mm. you respect it a lot more. It's such an important lesson for mm. everybody.